Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield. Great to be with you, and I'm glad that you've tuned in to listen to this broadcast today. I pray the blessings of God will be up on you. My address is RaymondMayfield.com. You can find me on many outlets, GodTube, YouTube, and many others. And I appreciate you viewing my videos. I appreciate it very much. And I hope it will be very, uh, very eventful in your life. I want to talk to you today about Matthew chapter 24. This is one of the most popular chapters in the entire Bible today. It's Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 1 said, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and the disciples with him to show him the buildings of the temple. In verse number 2, Jesus told the disciples, There's not going to be one stone left on another that shall not be thrown down. This was absolutely fulfilled many years later in 70 AD when the Jewish temple was destroyed. And this was a sad sight, and there hasn't been a temple, a Jewish temple there since that time has happened. Uh, the disciples asked him three questions. When shall these things be? They wanted to know specifically when these things were going to come to pass. And, of course, we know the destruction of the temple happened in 70 A.D. And then they wanted to know about the sign of thy coming. And then they wanted to know about the end of the world. And Jesus answered that and said, Take heed that no man deceive you, in verse 4. For many will claim to be Christ and will deceive many, in verse number 4. There's a lot of people claiming to be Christ or being Jesus Christ today, but I want to tell you there's only one Lord, only one Jesus. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. Ye shall hear of wars, Jesus said, and rumors of wars, but the end is not yet, in verse number 6. And of course, you know as well as I do, we've had wars in this country and in this world for, for many, many, many years. Uh, but I think it talks about an escalation of wars. And now we're talking about in Israel right now about rockets being fired and about a return fire that's going on right now in Israel. And there's ground troops now. There's a great war going on right now as I speak. The ultimate way that the devil would try to do was not to destroy Jerusalem. And he's going to make every effort during the tribulation period. But he is going to be halted and he cannot win. And also, Jesus answered further question, Nations shall rise up against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. There will be famines and earthquakes in diverse places in verse 7. And we know there's a lot of disturbance going on between nations and kingdoms rising up against nations. And we know there's been famine all over the world right now. I believe it's going to intensify. And earthquakes are in diverse places. We're hearing of earthquakes that we've never heard about before. And he said, all of these are just the beginning of sorrows in verse number 8. And then he says, false prophets will arise and deceive many. Many of them come in the name of religion and proclaim to have a great message. Uh, but they're false prophets. And we've got to be on our, on our toes uh, all the time and be aware that we stay within the Word and stay balanced in our Word. If it doesn't line up with the Word of God, then it's wrong. And the Bible says iniquity shall abound and the love of many shall wax cold. Many families are not together today because there is just strife going on everywhere. And everywhere you hear there's strife and the love of many are waxing cold. But it says here, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. And this gospel shall be preached in all the world and then the end shall come. Friends, that is taking place today when a lot of our missionaries are preaching all over the world today and through television and through many, many outlets, the gospel of the kingdom is being spread. And Jesus said, when the gospel of the kingdom is preached in all the world, then the end will come. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, and then parentheses, 
whosoever readeth, let him understand. In verse number 15, that's the Antichrist absolutely that's going to come in and take over the Jewish temple and set up his image in the temple. Uh, he did that in Daniel's time when a Syrian king set up a uh, uh, set up a sow there right in the middle of the temple and offered a sacrifice and defilement of the temple. And so that's a desolation of prophet that is spoken about in the book of Daniel. And it speaks about of the Antichrist taking over the temple. He is going to take over the temple, but it's not going to last long. Verse 21 says, For there shall be a great tribulation, such was not since the beginning of the world, or ever shall be. Friend, I want to tell you, we can't even describe how bad it's going to be, the tribulation period. It's going to be a lot worse than anything that has ever happened in the world ever before or never will be ever again. And the Jews are going to, the, the Gentiles are going to trod down the city of Jerusalem. Uh, and it seems like the devil's going to win, but God's going to come back with his saints and he is going to be on, we're on the winning team and we're going to win. Thank you, Jesus, for that. I want to tell you to be encouraged today. I'm going to pick this up in another session here very soon. And I pray God will bless you richly today. And remember, our hope is in Jesus Christ, not in the Antichrist, but it's in Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Uh, you love Jesus with you all your heart, and he will take care of you. And this is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you so much for listening today.